Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Ong from UOWM Malaysia KDU. Uh, today I would like to share an idea how we estimate the housefly Musca domestica larva. So uh, by using machine learning model, okay, because I think uh, so machine learning might be something new in terms of uh, pest control. So uh, uh, the idea actually starts from the field observation means uh, when we are in the chicken farm, okay. So this uh, chicken farm or the poultry farm is when we enter the farm, you look at the chicken feces. So then you will find out this uh, darkened area on the chicken feces. So if you really look closer on this uh, so-called darkened area or this darkened spot, so then you will find out they actually indicates higher density of housefly larva. Okay, and from that definitely in terms of pest control, we will recommend this uh, spot treatment means that you just treat the darkened area with the insecticide or simply saying just remove the darkened area then you can uh, I mean decrease the house flies density in the poultry farm okay so uh, the, the, the main reason is you need to maintain that uh, lightened color because they consist of those uh, beneficial natural predators for the house fly okay and uh, definitely uh, can help us to control the housefly population also but the idea from here is like we we see that actually we can identify or distinguish the housefly density by just looking on the color of substrate so then the idea continue with this is if today i have a device that able to recognize the color of the substrate okay so then that means that this device in future later can help us to apply the insecticide more specific on the so-called uh, chicken chicken feces okay because for this moment if you look at how this uh, farm owner practice is they just spray everything okay so then definitely will kill the natural potatoes okay so <clears throat> uh, we continue with using the the lab uh, breeding media Okay, so then this uh, lab breeding media, uh, the classic one is actually quite brownish in color. So then we choose those uh, uh, breeding media that is lightened cream in color. Then we start the experiment by culture the dif I mean culture different density of housefly in the culture media. So this is the result of the four days. Okay, so you can see that some is like yellowish color, some is like with this uh, darkens uh, black metals color. Okay, so then we actually can tell estimate what is the the, the 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 population size for example like like the darken color should be the one having the higher population size so by using this we need to be like more specific so we need to design the the so-called population size according to the level okay then only we can uh, use that images as the information to train the machine learning model Okay, so here's a background to explain the coloring or the intensity is because the housefly density, the housefly lava density increase, so the excrement from the housefly also increase. With the microbes, for example, then definitely the color of the substrate will change. Okay, so by using the computer vision, okay, the idea is we capture the image by using the camera module. So then we can uh, pre-process these uh, images become some digital form and then fit to the model. Then they can learn from the pattern, okay? And then they can like infer or predict, okay? By, I mean, predict the result by, I mean, with, with feeding of unseen data. Lah. Okay, this is usually how we tell this uh, uh, machine learning. Okay, so that's why uh, when we go to the machine learning models, okay, the first thing we do, actually we need to build out the data set means we need to capture the images of the uh, breeding substrate with different density of housefly larva okay so after that then we need to uh, pre-process the data because again the images itself is unstructured data so then we need to uh, put it become structured data we need to make it become digitalized okay so then uh, means according to every single pixel they have their number okay so then uh, after we pre-process these uh, images then only we can load into our model algorithm so means this algorithm part is when i i put it in then i have this data splitting that i will explain later okay so then the model or the algorithm will learn about the pattern of this input data and then when i put in the unseen input so it will tell you okay because just now when i input that uh images okay so they will learn okay they will learn 
this is the level one, this is the level two, this is the level three, for example. Okay, so then when I put some unseen, okay, means not repeat, not the same data. Okay, so then they will tell you accordingly, this should be the level one, what we call prediction. Okay, so the, the, the next step is after I build out this model, then I need to evaluate. Okay, so this evaluation will be like accuracy, precision, or recall. So after we have the uh, good result, then only we will have this uh, model application. <coughs> so again, uh, in details, how we prepare the, the breeding substrate, again, we are using the lightened color uh, substances, okay, because the classic uh, breeding, the lab breeding media for the lava is uh, made up from this uh, mouse palette, so with the milk powder, for example. So then, uh, usually because of this, the uh, mouse palettes come with a uh, quite dark in brown color, dark brown color. So that's why I make the contrast not that good. Okay, so uh, at the early trial of our experiment, so although still able to classify some levels of uh, house fly density, like, but the result not that good. So that's why we repeat all uh, again by using this lightened color uh, substrate. Okay, so uh, again, uh, we blend it, then we cow the uh, second to third instar of the lava, okay, because higher survival rate, okay, compared with the first instar, even the eggs, okay. So then, um, we we are using this uh, buffer buffer media means the lava first will attack in this uh, so called uh, new breeding substrate, okay. Then only we transfer them to petri dish, okay, according to different number of lava. Okay, so then uh, 10 indicate level 1, 20 indicate level 2. Okay, then from that, we will get different color of uh, so-called breeding substrate. <clears throat> so how we get the images is by using this chamber. Okay, we call image acquisition uh, chamber. So as you can see, I put in the petri dish with the breeding substrate. Okay, so then uh, this device come together. I mean, when we construct, it will come together with this LED. Then uh, it could apply the white, blue, green, red. Okay, so then we have the infrared color. Then this is the car. This is a camera lens. Uh, this is a camera modules. Okay, so uh, what is actually this uh, device? Actually, they are make up from one microcomputer and the LED holding case. Okay, this microcomputer is uh, basically a Raspberry Pi. Okay, so then we are using the latest uh, camera module, eight megapixel, with the Sony sensor. So uh, in details about model constructions, okay, each level, if you remember just now, we have five level. We have control level one, two, three, four. So each level, we will capture uh, 60 images, okay? Then we will split up the images into three portions, 70%, 15, 15, okay? So uh, training part is the one that we teach the model how it will be about this level one, okay? So then how it will be the image for level two, okay? Validation is after all this training part, then we will have to validate uh, this truly is for level one. Okay, means that the, the images are, are, by the way, the images is won't repeat. Uh, they won't repeat. Uh, okay, so the images in training will not be used in validation. Okay, so that we can really, really tell that the prediction is good. Okay, so uh, same thing to the test data set. Okay, also uh, we will like, Put in our model on the testing data set. Okay, at the same thing, uh, at the same, uh, at the same time from the test model, we can obtain our accuracy, precisions, and the recall. So usually can express in a table we call confusions matrix. Okay, so that only we will apply this model. So uh, uh, put it in the diagram form. Will be like I have the five levels of uh, readings, uh, subtracts. Okay. So then these uh, images I will load into the models, okay, definitely uh, after the pre-processing of the data. Lah. Okay, so during this uh, training, I can tell the epoch batch size learning rate that I want. Okay, so then only they will come out with the outcome. Okay, so then again, this is an example of the uh, images that we use. This is an example of the result. Okay, so we have the validated accuracy, we have the test accuracy. So our uh, Everything written in the JavaScript, okay? So uh, again, we post this uh, script shared into the GitHub so that everyone, I mean publicly, okay? So means every one of us can uh, download the link and then apply this link in the uh, uh, its machine. La. So it could be the devices that you want, for example. <coughs> so uh, here are the results, okay? So we have the uh, 
accuracy 97.77%, precision 93.5, and then recall is 93.3. So uh, because again, accuracy is not everything, okay? It, it will be misleading also, okay? So that's why uh, precision and recall are very important as well because precision can tell you how good your model predict the unknown sample. Okay, so then uh, recall is like how good your model repeatedly means after after many times of the prediction still can provide you with the good re result every time. Okay, every time how good is your result? Okay, so uh, here is a sample of the images from the chamber. Okay, so why I'm sure <coughs> why I show this is because uh, we remove this uh, red blue green spectrum. Okay, because again at the beginning of our experiment when we include all this red blue green spectrum so our model is not performed very well about the accuracy so usually we call under feeding okay so after we remove all this the performance of model increase significantly okay <clears throat> so now i need to show you about how how this model can demo and can predict the density in real time okay so uh, again i will use my uh, smartphone okay so they're having just just and uh, software okay so this uh, software uh, can show exactly the, the the screen on my smartphone okay so this is my office that's why very messy lah. okay so everything that without is background okay so you can see this is background so then I have one sample so then you can see this is a control and this is background this control okay so anything unrelated then will be background so again uh, this have to be trained I mean had to be include when we train the model okay so again this is exactly from my uh, smartphone in real time okay so uh, again uh, when we <coughs> when we go back to this uh, model okay so uh, what is the thing that we can improve in future <coughs> so it's like uh, again first from the perspective of the model construction means the machine learning model okay so actually we can put in more attributes or more parameter okay so we can have like the surface temperature we can have the humidity we can have the concentration of the ammonia for example okay so then uh, we'll like uh, together with more volume of the data so actually can make the uh, so-called model more solid because as you can see I'm only using the lab breeding substrate so then this model if I'm used on the actual real situation it could not I mean it could be not applicable so that's why when I have more images of other breeding substrate then I can tell with a more or better estimation for example okay so because I'm, I'm not saying estimation because you can see that this is a classification so it's by classing okay so uh, also it could be the regressive okay regressive problem means that we will have the output as the number okay as a range okay so like in between 100 to 150 okay so we with a number then we'll be like regressive problem so but now it's a classification problem okay so this application of machine learning can be like having more uh, possibility in terms of pest control uh, on our side we focus more on this uh, pest control threshold because we want to see uh, how to have a better way to estimate the population so that we can make that decisions Okay, so uh, again, that's it from me. I think anything uh, we can still sharing during the conference time. So again, thank you very much for watching the video. So thank you and uh, see you.